Artificial intelligence can often seem like a black box of magic. We pass an input, like an image of a game board, through a model that after many, many small computations produces an output, like the next best move to play. But what if we could peek inside of that black box to better understand how it works? And to do just that, we will need a lot of boxes. Similar to how we use treats to teach dog tricks, many AI algorithms uses a combination of rewards and punishments to get good at a task. We call this reinforcement learning because we reinforce or reward the good behaviors. In front of me, I have constructed a mechanical computer that through reinforcement learns to play the game tic-tac-toe. In tic-tac-toe, two players take turns placing an X or an O on a three by three board. A player wins if we get three of their shape next to each other, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Let's say that we're in the middle of the game. To allow the mechanical computer to make a move, we first represent each available square with a different colored bead, and then randomly choose a bead as its move. In this case, the mechanical computer makes it move in the top left corner, winning the game. Since this bead resulted in a good move in this scenario, we can add more beads of that color to reinforce the good behavior and make the mechanical computer more likely to make that move in the future. Similarly, if it makes losing moves, we can remove those kinds of beads to make them less likely to happen. And because different board scenarios require different kinds of moves, we need a separate box for each possible scenario. In the beginning, the mechanical computer plays randomly, as each move has an equal chance of being drawn. However, it improves over time as the bead concentrations change to only include the best beads in each scenario. In AI lingo, we call the mechanical computer an agent that interacts through actions with the environment, which in turn gives the agent positive or negative rewards to influence its future actions. What makes AI so powerful is its scale, optimizing billions and even trillions of boxes. And it is the constant ping pong of trial and error that allow AI systems to learn a wide range of tasks without being explicitly told how to do so. Today, AI models can predict diseases from brain scans, turn speech into images, and even help us tackle some of our greatest challenges. That's pretty cool what a lot of boxes can do. Almost like magic. <laughs>